The most uh, recurrent criticism of Bayesianism is the definition of the prior. We call that to apply Bayes' rule. We need to assign to any theory T a prior credence. In other words, we need to determine to which extent the theory T should be trusted even when we have zero data that supports or undermines T. And I'll admit for a long time, this has been a somewhat unsatisfactory feature of Bayesianism, which has led many to harshly criticize it as a universal philosophy of knowledge. But today, I'm going to argue that this problem has been essentially solved by computer scientist Ray Solomonov back in the 1960s, as he introduced a so-called universal prior. The key to Solomonov's prior is first to restrict ourselves to digitized data. As a result, any theory T will be consistent with Bayesianism if and only if it successfully assigns a probability to any data D, i.e. to any sequence of zeros and ones, and in a manner that is consistent with the laws of probabilities. Typically, the probability of observing 1, 0, 1, 1 as the first four bits must be the probability of observing 1, 0, 1, 1, 0 as the first five bits, plus the probability of observing 1, 0, 1, 1, 1 as the first five bits. Now, building upon the work of Alonzo Church and Alan Turing, or perhaps on the idea that computations encode patterns as we discussed on the previous video, Solomonov also argued that the theory T must assign probabilities in a computable manner. In other words, the theory T must be describable as a program written in a Turing-complete programming language like Java or Python, and given any observed data D, the execution of the program must output the probability of the data D given the theory T. And as it turns out, this simple condition actually severely restricts the number of theories that are worth considering. Namely, we now have to restrict ourselves to a set of programs, yet the set of all programs is a countable set. In particular, we have got rid of all possible continuous sets, so there's no longer any need for integrals and other complicated Lebesgue measure stuffs. In this context, Solomonov argued that any reasonable prior need only be universal, which simply corresponds to assigning a strictly positive credence to any computable probability program T. In fact, for reasons I won't dwell too much on today, Solomonov identified a particularly natural prior in the context of prefix-free binary programming languages, such as the machine language of a universal Turing machine. In such a case, it can be shown through the Kraft-Macmillan inequality that the sum of the 2 to the power minus length of t converges and is at most 1. Let us call S the sum. The prior credence of the program t can be naturally given by 2 to the powers minus length of t divided by the normalizing constant S. Interestingly, this definition naturally encodes Occam's razor as the prior credence of a theory now depends exactly on its complexity as measured by its length. In other words, simpler theory are more credible or more trustworthy according to this formalism. But this is actually far from being the most compelling feature of Solomonov's universal prior. In a future video, we'll see that this simple construction actually implies the completeness of Solomonov's induction. And this is a big deal.